Sunday school. So we can 
and just come in and look pretty and, and yeah. sit back and relax. Yeah. That's the time for us to go to work. That's the time for us. And we, we got that messed up in the church because once we begin to come to God, we get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Everything bother us when we come to God. Yeah. Everything agitate us. Everything irritate us. Yeah. And we don't want to do nothing. Because we feel like if we don't do it, ain't nobody else going to do it. But when God said build his house and God have brought you out of a place of confusion, when yeah. God have brought you out of a place of Egypt, Come when God have brought you out of a place yeah. of bondage, yeah. God is bringing you out so that you can go and bring somebody else in yeah. and you can do the work. Come on now. God not just bringing us out so we can just sit down and sit in pews and sit in pretty uh -huh. chairs and, yeah. and, 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 and sit in uh, pretty churches and big now. churches, but God yeah. is bringing us out to do a work. Do a work. He don't want us to sit down on uh -huh. what he has done because yeah. as he brought you out, that's a testament mm -hmm. of God is so faithful because yeah. God brought you out of a place of bondage uh -huh. and God brought you out of a place of confusion yeah, sure. and God said, you know what? Yeah. Now I'm going to take you to a place of Judah. Yeah. I'm going to take you to a place of Jerusalem. He said, I'm going to take you to a place of praise. I'm going to yeah. take you to a place of peace yeah. where you can experience my peace and you can experience my joy and you can learn how to praise me and magnify yeah. Yes, and you can look back and see all the goodness and everything that I have done for you Hallelujah. and how I brought you out. Yes, I brought you out. How yes, I didn't let you die uh -huh. when you was in captivity. Yes, when I didn't let you die uh -huh. when you was in that adultery relationship. Yes. When I didn't let you die when you was in that filth and sin. He uh -huh. said, but I watched yes, over you. I didn't let you die in that car wreck. Yes. I didn't let you die when you was doing all forms of wrong. Yes. He said, but I brought you out. Uh -huh. yes, to do a work. To do a work. See, we get comfortable because we think church is all about dressing up and uh -huh. coming in and performing. Come but on. church, we are the church. So mm -hmm. when we walk up, the church just walked up. Yeah. But God said, build my kingdom up. Hallelujah. God said, I'm raising up a church. I'm raising up a people that's going to build my church Come up. On now. Yes, Lord. That's going to build my kingdom up. Mm. Hallelujah. Every time opposition comes, we stop doing yes. what we're supposed to do. Come on now. We feel like when people come up against us and when all odds come up against us, that's our, that's our ticket to stop. Mm -hmm. To stop doing everything that God told us to do. We get so discouraged because opposition has came. Mm -hmm. But that's your time to really fight. That's your time to really get the tools where you can do the work. Yes, Lord. That's not your time to sit back and relax and, and turn your back on God. You got to go back and you got to look back and you got to remember, oh, that was God that brought me out of it. Yeah. I know that was God that healed my body. I, I know it didn't have nothing to do with the doctor. I know it didn't have nothing to do with the medicine, but it was God it that was brought God. me out. Yes, See, you got to go back. You can't stop with opposition. When opposition comes, yeah. when you're being persecuted, when people are coming up against you yeah. and people want to harm you, Praise you got to know what the word of God yeah. says. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Yeah. You got to keep on working. He told you, he said, now, if you're going to fight and you're going to build up, he said, I need you to be ready. Mm. I need you not only build my kingdom up, but you need to be built up because you are part of my kingdom. Yeah. Come on now. You are the church. So I got to build you up yes. with my word so you're able to keep building. So when opposition do come, it ain't going to shake you. It yes. ain't going to bother you because you know what? You're going to be just like Nehemiah. Nehemiah said, keep on working. Yes. Nehemiah began to ignore what was going on around him. Yes. When yes. opposition came up against him, he kept on building. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah kept on hammering the nail. Yes. He kept on hitting and everybody around him, when they see that he didn't stop, they didn't stop. So you need some people around you when things are going on and you and they see you keep going, yes. and they don't stop because you ain't stopped. Yes, come on now. You don't need nobody around you. When you stop, they stop. Uh -huh. See, that, that, that stop everything. Come on now. Yes, Lord. You look into them more than you look into God. But God said, build up my build kingdom. Up my king. Yes, Lord. Why have the work stopped mm. for 16 years? 16 Ask yourself, years. where have I stopped? What did I stop doing that God told me to do? Yes. Have I begun to work yet? Mm -hmm. Have I begun it? Yeah. Have I just began to do a little pull back? No persistence. Yeah. No consistent thing of continuing on going on. Oh, that yes, I got to continue to do this thing. Yeah. I know I ain't going to feel like it all the time. 
I know my body ain't going to want to do it. I know that things around me going to kind of get my attention out, but I got to keep on working. I'm working. Yes, Lord. I got to keep on going. Yes, I got to keep on building. Yes, on. Yes, because when you continue to let God build you up, when opposition comes, guess what? Yes. It cannot touch you. Lord. It's blocked. It's blocked. Yes. Yes, by God. Lord. God won't let it touch you. But you're the one got to keep standing. So have you stopped the work? Look back. Have I stopped or have I started yet? Have I, have I got started of doing what God told me to do? Mm -hmm. Am I not sure what God told me to do? But God said do the work. Yeah. God told all of us to go into the highways, the byways, the hedges, and compel them to come in. God brought you out so he can bring somebody else yes. in. Yes, See, God just not doing it for us. Mm -hmm. God is saying, I'm building you up so you can go and build somebody else yes, up. Lord. I'm encouraging you so you can go and carry somebody else. Yes, when God Lord. healed our body, that's a testament so that somebody else can believe that God can heal their body too. Yes, yes Lord. Hallelujah, but we stop the work when opposition come up. See, don't nobody like that resistance. Don't nobody like that resistance workout. When you begin to do that resistance, it seems like it's much harder than just picking up regular weights. Because now it's a resistance. Now I gotta put my all in it, and it's so hard for me to continue to lift this thing. But it's so little. But the resistance that is given, it's going to give me more benefits. Yes, come on now. That resistant workout is going to give me more benefit than me just going and picking up the weights. Yes. Now I got to put my all in it. Yes. Just like you want up the heel, that's resistance. resistance. You got to put more work in it to yes. get up the heel. Come on now. Yes. So that resistance came against me. Mm -hmm. when they didn't know what to do. But all they had to do was look and say, if God Yes, Lord. Did it then? Yes, Lord. God can do it again. Come on now. Yes, Lord. If God brought us out then, mm -hmm. a place of confusion, God can bring us out again. Yes. He can do this thing again. Yes, Lord. Yes. But the resistance, am I strong enough for the resistance that's coming up against me? The opposition that's coming up against me. The hostility that's coming up against me. When they criticize me, am I strong enough to keep on building? Keep on building. Because when you serve God, everybody's watching you. All eyes are on you. All type of criticism begin to come. Everybody got something to say. But do you let what they say bother you and get you out of place where you stop doing what God tell you to do? Or do you keep doing what God tell you to do? Yeah. Because the benefit is, if I keep doing what God tell me to do, then I'm going to be blessed going in and I'm going to be blessed coming out. Yeah. God, I'm going to have the overflow. Now, they criticize him, but God will continue to bless me in front of them. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? God will continue to lift you up and God will continue to build you up and your credit is on the sideline. Yeah, come on now. Yes, Lord. You can't stop the work because people's words, people looked. You cannot stop the work. You got to keep going. Yes, Lord. What you heard and what you hear, that's not important because I need to hear what God is saying. God is saying, yes, Lord. See, we're being slothful in the house of God when God said, now it's time to do the work. Mm. It's time to understand where we are, where we can begin to build up the kingdom of God. Yes. Hallelujah. But opposition came. They stopped the work for 16 years. 16 years. How long have it been since you stopped the work? Mm -hmm. Or have you started the work? Come on now. I don't know. How long has it been? Yes. God, have I even started? Because sometimes we can think we don't start it and we ain't started nothing. Because we're not doing what God told us to do. We're doing what we want to do. We're doing it the way that we want to do it. Hallelujah. So we got to ask God, God, I know I'm supposed to do a work. What is the work that you're calling me to do right now in this time, in this season? Because there's plenty of work to be done for yes. everyone. Yes, Lord. Ain't nobody left out. Yes, Ain't no children left out. Yes, Lord. No lay member, no deacon, no minister, no prophet, no evangelist. Nobody is nobody. left out. Yes. 
Yes, Lord. God got a position for yes, everybody. For everybody. Yes, Lord. It's who's willing. Mm. Who's willing to do the work? Who's willing to recognize that now is the time for the work to be yeah. done? Who's willing to make the sacrifice to build God's kingdom up? Mm. Push selfishness out the door. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But as they begin to speak about this, the second verse, he said, Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, This people says, The time has not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. What are you saying to yourself? What what are you saying? Now is not the time. Now not the time for me to be going to prayer. Now is not the time for me to be fasting. Yes. Now is not the time for me to be joining the praise team or joining the choir. Now is not the time for me to usher. Now is not the time. See, now, 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 this is what you're saying. This is what you're speaking over yourself. Now not the time. You know what you're saying? That God, now not the time for me to be blessed. Now is not the time for me to prosper. See, everybody want a right now word, but don't nobody want to do a right now word. Yeah. Don't nobody want to do a right now of obeying yeah. God's word so that they can receive what God wants them to receive. Yeah. Yes, everybody want God to do something for them, but they're not willing to give up for God. Yeah. They're not willing to do the work that God is calling them to do because guess what? Opposition, Opposition. got them crippled. Come on now. Opposition got them back up against the wall. Yeah. But it's something when you're in the world Opposition, when it come up against you, it gets you rattled. It gets you batty batty. It gets you to the point now it's, it's on. Now it's on like a pot of neck bones. Let's bust a move. See, but when you come into the kingdom of God, you get stuck. You let the enemy beat you. But when you was in the world, you're trying to beat the enemy. You're trying to get them before they get you. Yeah. But when you come to God, you let the enemy begin to whoop you. Mm -hmm. Sickness come upon you, then you're ready to give up. Oh, you, you, you don't got the money in the bank like you want to, now you're ready to give up. Yeah. Somebody said something about you, now you're willing to see it's different warfare. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't the same as worldly, as this worldly fight. Yeah. Now you're in a spiritual fight. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to really be belly, belly yeah. in God so that you can whoop the enemy. Yeah. You need his word. God said, I've given you 66 books. Yeah. I, I, I give you 66 books to stand on where you can decree and declare my word. Yeah. That's enough for you to stand on. on God now. said, I've given you the yeah. tools. I've given you the tools when you can't sit back no more. I God mean. said, now put on the whole arm of God. Yeah. He said, now stop sitting back and stop pulling back. He said, now I need you to go forth. Because yeah. I need my kingdom built up. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Why do we get so weak when we come to God? <laughs> Why do we get so weak? <laughs> Where if something hit us um, through in the town, I can't handle it no more. It's something how we give up so fast. Yes, Lord. When stuff hit our marriages, now we're ready to divorce, but we in God. Come on. Where I fight at. Yeah. We got enough fight to preach. We got enough fight to pray. But we don't got enough fight to stand for our marriage, to yeah. stand for our family. We don't got enough fight then. Yeah. We're not using the tools that God has given us. Mm. We're not using the tools. We're speaking the word, but we're not believing the thing that we're saying. Mm -hmm. We're not standing on the thing that we're saying, but we're speaking it because it sounds good. We're singing it because it sounds good, but we don't believe it. Yeah. We don't believe it. But you got to recognize now is the time. Now is the time. They said now is not the time. This is what they were saying to, to, to themselves. Mm -hmm. This is what God was revealing to Haggai. The prophet, yeah. one of the minor prophets. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, they said now, this is what the people are seeing. Mm -hmm. God revealed to Haggai the prophet. This is what they see. This is what they say in hey God. This people says the time has not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. Why is it not time for God's house to be built? Don't you want your house built? 
When you bless God's house, God gonna bless your house. Yeah. When you take care of God's business, God will take care of your business. Hallelujah. You gotta believe that. Doubt came in because they got discouraged. They began to just forget about God and forget about His work. They said, now, as God revealed this to Haggai the prophet, hallelujah, and began to tell him exactly everything that they were saying, this is what they were saying in their hearts. Yeah. See, this is when you know it is God. Come on now. Because sometimes you're not saying it out your mouth, but God revealing what's in your heart. Amen. God said, now, they ain't said it out their mouth. They might as well should have said it out of their mouth. But this was in their heart. This is what they were saying in their hearts. This is what God revealed to the prophet that was in their hearts. Now is not the time. You know, we don't say some things in our heart. I don't want to do it, God. I don't want to go there. It's too much. But we know what God has told us to do. But hey, God, begin to hear what God was saying, what was in their heart. What was in their heart. See, you got to understand the time. They didn't understand the time. They didn't understand the time. But this is what they were saying in their heart. My God. My God. The sons of Issachar understood the times and knew what to do. See, if we're in God, we got to get in a place where we understand the time and we know what to do. We, we, we're not stuck. We're not looking around like we're puzzled. See, the church should be the ones that understand the times that we're in. Yeah. And we should know what to do. Because God has already revealed it in his word. Why is the church so lost and you searching out of things in God's word is already revealing the times that we're in. Yeah. And we should know what to do in this time. Come on now. Yes, Lord. The sons of Issachar understood the times. And they knew what to do. Why are the people of God? Why do it look like we're puzzled and we're stuck? We started searching out and searching out. But God said, now is the time. See, if you build God's house up yeah. and you begin to step before God, see, now is the time for you to get before God even the more. Mm -hmm. Now is the time for you to fast even the more. Mm -hmm. Now is the time for you to give yourself fully over to God even the more. Mm -hmm. Now is time for you to study even the more. Yes. Yes, Lord. We don't want to give up nothing for God. Mm -hmm. But we want God to give up everything for us. We want God to release it to us now. Because mm -hmm. we tell God, now is the time for us to be blessed. Now is the time for us to get this. Mm -hmm. And God said, no, 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 go back. Go back to your first love. Come on now. Do the first work. Do the first work. He said, start all over again. Yeah. Start all over again. Where you used to seek me Come on now. Yes, and Lord. not get tired of seeking me. Where you used to wake up and thirst after me. Mm -hmm. Go back to your first love Amen. and do the first work. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Stop being slothful. Stop procrastinating. Yeah. Stop pulling back when God said go forth. Yeah. Now is the time. Now is the time. Hallelujah. Now is the time. Yeah. We got to understand the times that we're in. We got to understand what it is that we're supposed to do right now in this time. We're supposed to be prepping, we're supposed to be preparing, and we're supposed to be building. Yeah. Because the world is looking at the church. Yeah. You, you got people that's looking to the world for the answer, but the church is the answer. God have the answer. Yes, yes Lord. We don't supposed to be going to the world for the answer, the world's supposed to be coming to the church for the answer. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus Lord. is the answer. Yes, Jesus is the way. Yes. He's the only way. Hallelujah. You got to believe that. We say that stuff, but we don't believe it. Come on, Do 
deep down in our heart, we gotta ask God, help us with our unbelief. Yeah. Help us with our unbelief, our doubt, and remove yeah. it, oh God, so that we can believe every word, oh God, that, 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 that you have spoken and that's printed in your word, mm. that we may believe, yeah. that we may believe. Hallelujah. Help our unbelief. Help our unbelief. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First of all, you got Zerubbabel, mm -hmm. the governor. governor. You got Joshua, the high priest. Uh -huh. See, God going to deal with the governor, governor. and he going to deal with the high priest. Uh -huh. See, God know how to get his word. Yeah. See, the governor is, the government is upon God's shoulder. Yeah. Yes, Lord. So, as the prophet went, now he's giving the word. See, Jerubbabel, the governor and the high priest working together trying to get the yeah. children of Israel the word. Yeah. Let them know this is the right way to go. Uh -huh. Now you got this very thing taking place in the White House. On, you got people telling Trump and advising Trump, this is what the word That's say about this Trump. Yeah. This is how you go about doing this. If you want our country blessed, yeah. this is the only way that our country right is going to be can. blessed. Hallelujah. Yeah. And people study got their mouth, but you need to let God work this thing out. Yeah. You need to allow God to continue to turn Trump's heart, though yeah. every which way he wants to. Because if God, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. If you let God do it, because God knows how to orchestrate this thing better than we do. Come on now. God knows what to do. People get mad at men and women of God. Because they're going forth and they started speaking about Trump. No, we're not lifting up Trump. We're lifting up God. Yeah. We're lifting up God. Hallelujah. Yes, because we know the God that we serve. He's holy. He's faithful. He's mighty. Our God is awesome. Amen. But this is taking place right now. Zerubbabel, seed of Babylon. Babel, it's confusing. This is what he was born into. But here he go, trying to help the people of God. Yes. That's you know I said, you let God fix something. It don't matter how messed up a person heart is, and what it is that they doing, or, or what it is that they have said. If you let God do it, God know how to turn it. Come on now. Yes, Lord. Your hate ain't gonna turn it. Your unforgiveness ain't gonna turn it. Yes, your bitterness ain't gonna. If you let God do it. Let God. Yes, Lord. Let God. God is calling for a committed people. A holy people. We got to submit ourselves to God. Say, God, I'm tired of doing it my way. I'm tired of carrying this around in my heart. I'm, 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 I'm tired of thinking this in my heart, but not saying it out of my mouth. God, help me. Mm. Where I obey you. Where I be about your work. I be about your business. Mm. I'm tired of just being selfish and thinking about myself and how I should do this and how I should. God, I'm going to do it this way. I mean, we, we, we're not even asking God. How should it be done now? Yeah. What should I do, God? Where should I go? We're not asking God. We're taking it upon ourselves to do it ourselves. To do it the way we want to do it. That's selfishness. Mm. Say, God, remove selfishness today. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Remove it. Yeah. I don't want to be selfish. Mm. I don't want to just think about myself. Yeah. It's more when God bring you out, when God brought them out of bondage, when God brought them out, God just wasn't bringing them out for them. Guess what? God was bringing them out for us today. Now, well, we Lord. can come out and Hallelujah. we can stay out. Yes. Yes, Lord. We got to come out. Yes. It's souls that's dying and going to hell and we sitting back and, and, and we're, we're coming in, we're performing, we're shouting and we're dancing and we're speaking in tongues and our hearts is jacked up. We got to think about more than ourselves. They thought about themselves because of opposition, the trials of life. Who do we think we are that we're not supposed to go through anything because we come to God? Christ came. They persecuted him. They spit on him. They beat him. They hung him on a cross. Who do we think we are that we're not supposed to go through anything? Everything's supposed to be so lovely. We're going to go through some things. 
But guess what? We got God on our side. We're coming. Yeah. Guess what? We're not going to stay in those states. We're going to come out. We're going to come out. Hallelujah. See, you can experience his joy and his peace even when you're going through. You, you can experience his love even when you're going through. That's if you look into him and not you and not others. Say, then the word of the Lord came by Hagar, the prophet, saying, See, God going to raise up somebody. God going to send a man, a woman, prophet, prophetess, evangelist, preacher, and, and, and a lot of times you ain't got to put no title on it. Just a servant of God. When God going to get his word out, he can use anybody that he wants to use. Don't get caught up in no title. Because God can use anybody to bring you the word. And you're going to know that it's from God. He said, it is it time for you yourselves mm -hmm. to dwell in your panel houses. Mm -hmm. In this temple, to lie in rooms. He said, now is it time for you to dwell in your panel houses? Mm -hmm. Is it time for you to just fix up your house and be in there relaxing and, and so forth? And you got your panel walls up. You in there warm and cozy. But God's house have went into ruins. Because you say, I don't got nothing to give God. It's not the time. I gave. I haven't seen nothing back yet. I did this. But God haven't done nothing yet. I have let fear grip me. Till I don't know what to do. I have allowed fear to push me in a corner where I'm confused. But I'm steady building myself up. Because if I get the car, that might get the man that I want. That might get the friends that I want to be around. If I get the house, then I can invite my family and so forth to my house so I can show it off. So I can show my fun of y'all. If I go shopping and I get all sauced up, then I can get some attention from the man or for the woman. See, then you still have cut God out of it. Because it's about you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. It's about you. I'm not going to pick up anybody for church. I just got my car. Yeah. Hmm. It's about you. Mm -hmm. See, I've seen God, how God have blown on some things. People have got things and God have blessed them and I have seen them blown away. I have seen them snatched right back. Because when you forget about God, you can't expect to be blessed by God. Amen. Sometimes you're going to make, have to make sacrifices and it ain't going to feel good to you. Amen. It's going to hurt you sometimes. Me and Pastor have sown seeds and so forth. And we we, we we like, okay, we'll look at each other like we got to obey God. And do you think it feel good? All the time, you got to make a big sacrifice, but when you're doing it as unto the Lord, you don't let nothing get into your heart. He always return a blessing. Amen. He always bless you in areas you need to be blessed in. Amen. Sometimes the only thing you're looking at is money, but God will bless you. He'll empower you where you need to be empowered at. God will put into you what you need. See, God will increase your peace. He will yeah. increase your joy. Yeah. See, God know what you need. And it's already 2018, and some of the saints is already on E. How in the world? Because you know what you said? Now is not the time. I'm bringing in my New Year saucy, baby. When you see me, I'm going to be sauced up. You ain't paid no tithes. You ain't gave no offering. You ain't gave no time over to God. I don't care if it's sweeping the floor. If I sweep the floor, you can sweep the floor. 
floor. If I mop the floor, you can mop the floor. God just looking at our motive, our heart. Yeah. Do you even want me? You forgot about me. You forgot about what I've done for you. Yeah. You forgot about when I brought you out. Oh, you yeah. forgot about when I blessed yeah. you. When you didn't know how you was going to be blessed. You forgot about when I paid your bills and you didn't know how your bills was going to be paid. Yeah. You forgot about when I saved your Hallelujah. life. Why did you get a You forgot about me. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When I didn't let you die when you Thank was laid up. Thank you me. forgot about me. Thank the Lord. Thank you. you didn't give me no glory. You gave me lip service. But your heart was far from me. Hey, I don't speak. I don't share. I don't say. Hey, I don't say. Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't speak. I don't say. Hmm. You gave me lip service. But hey, God said. Hmm. Is it time for you yourself to dwell in your panel houses? In this temple to lie in ruins? You gonna allow God's house to lie in ruins? While you lay up in your panel houses? While you're so comfortable and cozy? While you got everything that you need? Are you gonna allow God's house to lie in ruins? Yeah. See, we gotta catch ourselves. Well, we don't get caught up in material things and we start sewing into those material things and we forget about God. Just because you see this pastor riding up in a Lexus in a Rolls Royce, baby, it probably ain't your time. Because it's your time to do what God told you to do. Amen. Just because you see your neighbor get a new car, that might not be your time right now. Build up your faithfulness in God. Build it up with God. God will show you who he is. See, they had to go and borrow, and they had to go get this, and they had to go get that. See, God will uh, make it where somebody come all the way from Arizona to bless you to get what exactly what you want. Yeah. If you're doing God's work first. Yeah. Hallelujah. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Mm -hmm. He said, now, <clears throat> consider your ways. Examine what is going on right now. This is what he this is what he's telling me. Examine this. Judge this. How did this look? Where you only have a foundation of God's house built, but your house is built up. It's lovely, but God's house is laying in ruin. He said, examine this. Judge this. <clears throat> Let's set this in order. Let's set this in order. We can't forget about God, saints. Because God is the very one that woke us up. He's the very one we got the breath in our body. He's the very one that we got yeah. the activities yeah. of our limbs. He's the very one that know I'm going in and I'm coming out. He's the very one. Amen. How can you forget about God who's got all power in his hands? Consider your ways. He said, think about this now. I need you to set this in order now. Think about this. Look around. See, we got to be honest. Saints. Can I be honest with you this morning? I feel like that I have not fully given my all to God. What he required me. Because my hunger and my thirst is for more of God. I don't care about the things because I know the things will come. But my soul, huh, my soul wants more of God. Yeah. Yes, Lord. I was telling the pastor, I just want more of God. Yeah. That's my desire. That God I'm not giving you all that I think I should give you. I, 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 I want to give myself fully, fully over to God. Yes, fully committed. <laughs> we sing the song, fully committed, but we have not committed ourselves to God. Yeah. Of doing the things. Can I be honest with you this 
morning. I want more of God. Yeah. I want more of his presence. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. I don't want it to just dress it up and come in here and feel like, oh, today is Sunday, I'm holy. But every day, every day, when you really want to experience God in a for real way, in a right way, yeah. you give yourself fully over to God. Because now it's time for us to go back to our first work. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for us to understand the time that we're in. Oh, yeah. We've been procrastinating. We've been pulling back. We have not been getting really uh, in God's presence like we should. Mm -hmm. We're not hearing God like we should. Yeah. So now it's time for me to give up more for God. Yeah. Now it's time for me to grab hold to the horns of the altar even the more. Yeah. To my arms get tired. Yeah. To my body get wore well out. Because God in your presence, God, yeah. I want to be broken in your presence. Yeah. See, we give God lip service, but our heart is far from God. And that's what I keep hearing. Our unbelief. Mm -hmm. Our unbelief. Yes, yes. We see it in front of us. And we hear the word coming forth. But our unbelief. God help me with my unbelief. That's why the sons of Hezekiah, they, they understood the times. Yes. And they knew what to do. How many can you really say, you can raise your hand, that I know it's the time and I know what to do? Because we have not been in that place where we truly understand the time and we know what to do. So now is the time for us to really plant ourselves and really prepare ourselves where we know what to do. Because God, I'm putting you first. Yeah. I'm put everybody else first. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm put this. I'm put my job. I'm put my children. I'm put my mother. I'm put my father. I'm put my husband. I'm put my wife. I'm put everything else. My money. But God, I'm putting you first. Yeah. Everything else going on the back burner. I put that in your hands. Yeah. Because I can't do it like that no more. Hallelujah. You carry weight that you don't have to carry. Yeah. You have to say today I give it up. Because now I understand the times. Yeah. I recognize what time it is. It's time for me to build up the kingdom of God. Yes, Lord. It's time for me to put selfishness out the way. Come it's on, time man. for me to stop dressing it up. Yes. It's time for me to stop dancing over. It's time for me to stop speaking in tongues over. Yes. But it's time for me to really get in that place with yes, God. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. It's time for me to get in that place with God. Mm -hmm. He said you so much. And you bring in little. Do you ever wonder why I'm steady giving? I'm steady giving, and it seems like I'm not getting. I'm not getting it back. I'm getting little because your motive and what you're doing and how you're doing it. You're not being faithful to God. You're just throwing God crumbs. And God said that's the reason why you're bringing in little. He said you eat, but do not have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. That's the reason why you'll find yourself overindulging in things. And you're yeah. not understanding why I'm overindulging in things. And it don't seem like I can get full. And I'm not just talking about food, just food either. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You got some people that sit back and they overindulging in things and they're not knowing what's going on. Because when you're outside of God, yeah. you, you continue to feed your flesh. Yeah. And your flesh get hungry for what it wants. Rather it's sex. Rather it's lust, perversion, money, whatever it is, you start overindulging in that thing yeah. because now I have got out of a place with God yeah. and I have put myself first. You have put yourself in a place of God and put God on the back burner. Yes, but now, God, why am I feeling like this? Why do it feel like God? It's like I don't have no peace. Like I'm so empty. I'm so empty inside. God telling you right now. You're not putting me first. Yes, come You're on. not giving me your all. Yes. When you got a mouth, Hallelujah. when you got a mouth to give me praise and refuse to give me praise, on, when you got hands to clap and you refuse to clap your hands, yes. when you got feet to stand on and you refuse to give me a dance or a 
yourself? Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. You got a mind to do something, but you refuse to use it for God. Mm. You don't want to sweep no floor, ain't gonna wipe no windows, ain't gonna wipe no toilet, ain't gonna do none of that. Come on now. You wonder what's going on. Yeah. You wonder why you feel empty. God said, you have not been in my presence where you can get filled. He said, I'm going to fill you up. I'm waiting to fill you up. He said, I'm waiting to fill you up. But you have not put me first. That's the reason why I'm picking up little things. You start picking up little things along the way. Because the flesh wants those things. And you start overindulging in those things. And you're not knowing why you're overindulging in those things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, you clothe yourself, but no one is warm. He said, you got the clothes on, but you cold as ice. You're not even warm. Yeah. Like I said, we can dress it up. We can go by the best, the best. And we can put it on, and we still feel empty. Yeah. We still feel like something missing. Because let me tell you something, baby. God is the only one that can fill that void. Yeah. Can't no woman, can't no man, can't no money, can't no job, can't yes, no Lord. car, can't no house. God is the Hallelujah. only one that can fill that void. Yeah. I don't care how much sex you have. I don't care how much money you have. Yes, I don't care what you go out of and what you get. God is the only God. one that's going to fill yes, that void. Lord. Until you recognize that, yeah. you'll still be empty. Thank you, Jesus. He said you earn wages. To put in a bag with holes in it. Yes, you can have all the money. And you can be going on, but your bag got holes in it. Yeah. You don't know where it's going. It's just leaving, it's just leaving. And God said, I'm telling you today. He said, because you have not put me first. Yeah. You have not put my house first. He said, we need to recognize it's time to build up the kingdom of God. Yeah. Until you recognize that. Yeah. Until you recognize to put God Hallelujah. first. That I'm not going to be selfish no more. Yeah. I'm not going to be selfish no more. Yeah. And God, I'm tired of being empty. Yeah. And God, I'm tired of going through. And God, I need you. I need to understand the times like the songs of his accord. And not only understand the times, God, but I need to know what to do in this time. Yeah. Right now, God. Yeah. I'm tired, oh God. Yes. I'm tired of slacking, oh God. Yeah. But like I said, I'm giving myself fully over to God. Oh, yeah. You're not going to understand this shift. Yeah. But it's about to be a shift that takes place. Oh, yes. I'm grabbing hold to the horns of the altar. Yes, Lord. And I'm not going to let go. Thank you, Jesus. Stay in that place. Yeah. And when you stay in that place and you don't care who around you, you don't care how they look at you, yeah. but God, you have put praise in me, yeah. and praise going to come out Hallelujah. of me. God, Hallelujah. you have birth worship in me, yes, and worship going to come out of yes, me. Hallelujah. I'm going to worship you in spirit and truth. Yeah. I'm not going to worship you the way I want to worship you, God. Yes, Lord. Come out of me. Hallelujah. Because when you let God do it, let that's God. when change takes place. Yes. That's when you begin to start building. That's when you begin to start reaching and touching. Because what God done for you, somebody else is waiting to come out. Yes. Somebody else is waiting on their breakthrough. Yes. Somebody else is waiting on their healing. We need to get up. We need to lace up our boots. Yes. And we need to pull our shoulders back and say, God, you anoint me for this battle. Yeah. I'm ready to build up. Yeah. You have already given me the tools, God, and I'm ready to go to work. Yeah. I won't stop building. I won't get off the wall, yes, but God help me to stay. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, your compassion. Come on, saints of God, stand on your feet around the building. Yes. Amen. Truly, God is good. Amen. Oh. His ways are past finding out. Amen. He is a good God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. If you woke you up this morning, start you on your way, put strength in your body. You ought to have your hands lifted in the presence of the Lord.